Welcome to another Team Soul and Circus Live Duel. Today we have Sword Soul versus Sprite. I'm shuffling up the decks here, gonna get it for the high roll. Um, we see a. Uh, looks like Sword Soul here is going to win. Or both getting seven, my bad. And here Sword Soul is gonna win. Before we get into the duel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's dive in. So we're gonna see Sword Soul here. It's normal summon the Moyi. Actually, the effect revealing the Taya, you know, summoning the token, going into the long, uh, not long, long, going into the Chi Shao, chain link one, chain link two, you know, search as well as the draw, getting the blackout to hand, going to activate the emergence, you know, adding the long yawn, big long yawn, you know, we all know what this card does, summoning out the token, going into the Baron, big yawn, um, pay 12. Pay 12 is kind of huge. Set 2 and pass. Still simple, but can it outbeat the sprite deck? So we're going to go standby phase. Activate the starter here. Going for the sprite blue. Activate the effect here. It's going to resolve getting the sprite jet. Or it's not getting the jet here. We're going to add the red. Going for that monster negate, you know. Des definitely needed here. We're gonna have a Prada Prosperity in the main phase, you know, banishing three for cost. He's gonna let that resolve. We're gonna see blue Mystic Mine and the starter here. We're gonna add the Mystic Mine. Card's so crazy these days, it needs a ban. We're gonna activate the light stage here. Activate the effect, you know, adding the Lily Bell. Lily Bell effect's going to special summon herself because she's added to hand except by drawing herself. You know, crazy, it's a level 2 extender here. We're going to activate the Trickstar secondary effect to target a one set card on the field. Either it can be chained or not being able to activate for the rest of the turn. He's going to imperm the Lily Bell here. You know, I guess thinking that, you know, it's not going to be able to use the rest of the turn. Might as well use it now in case it has any effects. We're going to see a special summon of red here. And special summon of a jet as well. Act from the effect of jet. And uh, here he's going to let that go through, I think. Or he's going to not. He's going to activate the Chi Shao, banishing the Long Yong to steal it or to uh, negate it. Here he knows we have Mystic Mind in hand as well, so he's really forced to. Uh, we're gonna activate the Triple Tactics Talents here to take the Baron. He's gonna obviously Baron negate, or he's gonna let. He's going to uh, Baron negate that, and we're gonna be able to activate another Triple Tide Talents. You know, it negates activation, so it's we're able to activate. We're gonna activate the effect, popping the, um, the Chi Shao. He's going to activate the Blackout. You know, banishing both of it. Or popping both of it. We're going to go into the gigantic, gigantic effect. Summon out the swap. You know, swap effect. Going for the elf. Elf, summon out swap. Swap effect send once again. Sending the rodent, or the swap. Activating the rodent totem. Banishing the swap. Summoning out the totally awesome. Totally awesome combo here. We're into battle phase. Attack with the elf. Attack with the, uh, the gigantic, as well as the toad. And let's see if you we know, have we have one card in hand, which he knows is Mystic Mind. Let's see if that's good enough to uh, to beat Sword Soul here. We're gonna see a um, Vashuda being summoned, getting out into the Monk. Vashuda effects going to activate here, targeting the Elf. Very interesting here. You know, pretty much either forcing us to Toad negate that, or uh, forcing us to only have one Toad negate. You know, forcing out the negate is very, very huge here. We're going to uh, chain the elf here. Summoning out the red, you know, letting it being bounced back. Once you special summon the Ecclesia here, it's going to be all good. We're going to activate the effect here. We're going to chain the toad. Toad effect's going to activate, adding us back the swap frog. Or adding us back the swap frog here, yeah. He's going to simply pass his turn. We're going to draw for turn here. We're going to activate the Gigantic once again. 
Here we're going to summon out the blue. Blue flesh can activate, adding us the carrot, I believe. Special summoning the jet once again, adding the, um, the starter to hand. Summoning out the red. And here you have lots of options. We're able to link both of those way until the elf. Elf is going to be able to summon back the totally awesome here. We're going to special summon the carrot. And we still have Swap as well as the Mystic Mind in hand. Kind of crazy. We're going to overlay into the Gigantic. Gigantic effects went to our Gain at 600. Enter Battle Phase. Attacking for 22. Attacking for another 22. And attacking for game here. Unfortunately, this just shows like game one is a very, very representation of how Sword Soul here get everything. You know, we get Blackout, hit a set. Um, he had his, you know, standard combo. But unfortunately, just like Sprite as well as um, Telemans just is able to overcome um, like so much these days. Like they're just able to just beat powerful decks like Despia as well as, um, as Sword Soul. It's unfortunate because, you know, the power level of these decks just went up huge by so much. And Sword Soul didn't get touched at all, you know. Uh, but all they need is one Protoss back. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're definitely a top contender again. Uh, please don't bring Protoss back. It's, it's so toxic. And here we're going to see that the uh, Sword Soul players want to go first once again. We're going to see a normal summon of Ecclesia. Ecclesia effect is going to be activated here. Summoning out the Mo Yi. Mo Yi effect is going to activate, revealing the Long Yang. That's going to go through. Summoning out the token, linking those, or synchroing both of those away into the Chi Shao. Activating the effects. Chain link one, chain link two. Search draw. We all know the deal. Search, summoning, or searching out the blackout. We're going to activate the Long Yang. Discarding the Long Yang. Summoning out the token here. Linking those both away into the most likely Baron the Fleur. We're going to go with the Sinister Long Yang this time. Setting two cards and passing, you know, maybe hoping that, you know, he gets rid of those monsters so that they can't be, uh, can't be used as Link material or XYZ material. We're going to activate Prada Prosperity, banishing three for cost. It's going to let that go through. We're going to see a Mystic Mine, a D, uh, D Shifter, as well as a Swap Frog, adding the Mystic Mine once again. We're going to see a change of heart being activated. You know, give me the card. Yeah, yeah. Evil Long Yong here. Now we have the card. How does it feel to get burned? We're going to see a Sprite started being activated. Getting out the blue. Activating the blue effect. He's going to chain the effect of Chi Shao, negating the blue. Manish and the Long Yong. You know, very, very fair here. Sprite Star is obviously in Graveyard. We're going to see a Triple Tactics Talents being activated here. You know, deciding to take. He's going to activate Blackout here. We're going to activate the Sinister Long Young in response, banishing the Blackout. You know, making him take the 12. Wondering how he feels about taking the 12 all the time. But here it looks like... Uh, yeah, the chance going to resolve here. Summoning the token off the blackout, and then these two are... He's going to leave the Long Yong on field here. Very interesting. Maybe he doesn't want to get over... Doesn't want to get mined here. Um, we're going to enter battle phase attack with the Sinister Long Yong. We're going to normal summon the red here, especially summoning the s carrot... Oh, no, we... we we ended up actually uh, Sinister Long Young his token because it's a monster with special summon. That's insane. Pay 12, pay 24 for just a blackout effect. Now he knows how we feel. We're going to normal summon the carrot going into the, uh, normal summon the red, special summon the carrot, enter battle phase, attacking a whole lot. He knows our last card in hand once again is Mystic Mine here.
I think that you really should call it Take Sprite because all you, a lot of your effects is take your opponent's monsters. You have Triple Tax Talents. You have um, Change of Heart. You have uh, the Econ. Um, it's going to be called Stolen Sprite. Here we're going to link those away. The red and the sinister for the elf. Elf effects going to activate, adding back the blue. Linking or XYZing both of those into Gigantic here. Act it's going to get impermed, um, but he cannot target the Gigantic because it is in the zone that Elf is pointing to. So he targets the Elf instead. We activate the Gigantic. And a little misplay by his part, summoning out the Jet. Jet effect is going to activate here, summon, or adding the, the Smashers here. Setting one card, which he knows is the Smasher, unless we're illegally playing Mystic Mine in the Spell and Trap card zone. And passing. He's going to uh, special summon a Shuna. We're going to activate these Smashers here. Banishing the Starter. The Jet. Or, yeah, the Jet to banish the Ashuna. Hoping that's enough. He's going to activate the DD Crow. And here he activates DD Crow. You know, we let that resolve because we do think that he has Triple High Talents in his hand here. Um, he's going to pass his turn. We're going to think an end phase, and we're going to activate Jet, but our uh, starter, but our Elf. Elf's only during main phase, though, so we, that's actually an illegal play here. Um, we're going to think here. We're going to activate the start or uh, the gigantic, summoning out the Swap Frog, Swap Spending Swap, um, and it looks like the game is pretty much sealed from here. Um, summoning the Rodent, summoning itself out off the Jet, and we're going to overlay into the. Um, Toad here, and it definitely is going to be game. We have enough for game here. We have light stage, uh, but you know that carrot should not be on field. That's definitely a misplay on our part. Um, but yeah, this is definitely enough for damage. We're into battle phase here and attack for game. Um, congratulations to both players, and we'll see you in the next one.